Messenger made its first flyby of the planet Mercury on January 14, 2008. It traveled 2.2 billion miles to get there and came to within just 125 miles of the surface. Messenger's cameras snapped over 1,200 pictures of the planet, and its instruments collected surprising data on Mercury's magnetic field and thin atmosphere. In less than 10 minutes, Messenger's altimeter made a detailed profile of surface features. As expected, Messenger's data will help resolve some long-standing questions about Mercury. Scientists have debated for decades whether volcanoes played a role in shaping Mercury's surface. Now they know the answer is yes. Other than Earth, Mercury is the only planet in the inner solar system with a magnetic field, discovered 34 years ago during Mariner 10's brief encounter. Now Messenger's data suggests that, like Earth, Mercury's dipolar magnetic field may be actively generated by a churning liquid iron core. Fault lines more widespread than seen by Mariner 10 crisscross Mercury's surface, perhaps created by the cooling of the planet's core, causing Mercury to shrink and its surface to contract. As the solar wind bombards Mercury's surface, atoms are blasted into the planet's thin atmosphere, the source for abundant ions of sodium, magnesium, and lesser amounts of water group molecules, helium, potassium, and calcium discovered by MESSENGER. MESSENGER's first flyby captured close-up views of one of the largest impact craters in the solar system, known as the Caloris Basin. Stunning images reveal details about the planet's topography and geology, including a feature not seen elsewhere in the solar system. Initially dubbed the Spider, and now known by its formal name, Pantheon Fossae. There are two more flybys, one in October 2008 and one in September 2009. Then, in 2011, MESSENGER begins a year-long orbit of Mercury, providing a more detailed and exciting investigation of the planet closest to the Sun.